So yeah, what I was going to say was uh, just the reason, one of the reasons why Flat Earth did as well as it did, why it took off is because it, it's so polarizing. It generated so much dialogue in the comment sections that the word started spreading. It was like, yeah, dude, you know, big channels, big, big channels were going like, if you do a Flat Earth video, not only will your hits probably triple but your comment section will go up by orders of magnitude. And it's like, really? Why? It's because people, you know, they, you know, it's very, very, you know, people either love it or they hate it. They Polarize it. There's no, yeah, there's no middle ground. And that was very true. Oh, it's just people just get into just brawls in the chat room. Uh, it used to be a lot worse, but uh, and to where, and, and if you were a big enough channel, you'd get hell for even addressing the topic. If you, you know, people would be, you know, you'd be just like, I hate flat earthers. Here's why I love flat earth. Here's why. And then a third group would come in. And it's like, why are you even talking about this? You know, yeah. you, it is irresponsible and celebrities got that crap anyway. So <laughs> by the way, I wore, I wore this today that? for you. Very nice. And for, for everyone just to, oh, yeah, I like I'm that shirt. Definitely thinking about it. Amazon, buddy. <laughs> like it. I mean, there's Lost there's your there's your t- state of the art tech shirt right there. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. Your uh, your face. Not the old loading again. bar. No, 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 no. We've got you know the the spitting the animated circle. The loading to let you know because with the animated circle, it was it let you know that something was happening. It's working supposedly. The loading bar, you weren't sure. You're staring at it, getting out of a microscope, going, is it moving? I can't tell. There's no percentage next to it. I need an animation, running man. Lost your face. Oh, you did? Oh, crap. Yeah. Sorry. I will, figure, I will figure this out eventually. I think I what, what's happened is I'm using different lighting. So if I go back too far, no, that's not it either. Just let me know if it happens. Uh, it's no stress, man. Okay, so meat and potatoes um of of the discussion right did you check check out the statistics and numbers i sent you i did and i've seen those sort of stats before i thought see i thought you were going to start with logan paul start with what logan logan paul what dude he's he's what it is like yeah i i i i took in what you had to say about him um oh, okay. and we fully know at this point in time like he's a troll right yep. like yep. it is what it is and he actually was like okay i'm making a documentary about this so we're going to document my footsteps right so you may right. as well have just vlogged about it and be real about it right but your your actual intentions right were, were yeah, transparent yeah. right yeah. and mark calls you from jump and was yeah. like yo i'm getting out of here because I'm not going to be a part of this dumbness. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it leads into, we don't have to talk about Logan necessarily, but it no, leads right. into the documentary, which I watched, was it early this year? Yeah, I think it was early this year, which I love so much called Fake Famous, which I don't know if we talked about during the last thing or not, but it is brilliant in that it shows you the state of where we are. Yeah. So media-wise, yep. which, which is... If you're under the age of 30, you have a high degree of being doomed. <laughs> Influence. Because, because, you, because all you value is what's coming across on this screen. I was going to say before you even pulled it up, I said sensationality is what you crave. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The trend. Everybody, you know, and, and I don't want to quote too much from the movie, but it's very true. It's not just that movie, which is years ago it wasn't even that long ago 25 years ago yeah. not that long ago if you ask people because we did we asked kids you know, what do you want to be when you grow up right you know, i want to be a doctor i want to be a pilot i want to be you know a fireman and stuff like that now those answers have been reduced to one one answer and that is i want to be famous and it's like okay why well because famous people get to go all the cool stuff Famous people are, you know, and it's like, okay, how do you know you're famous? Hmm. Well, because you're all over the news. You're all over media. That's how we know you're famous. It's like, right. Okay. The numbers say so. Yeah. Then, and, and then, then it, then it went down even further of a notch, which was the, even Paris Hilton probably started it back in the day, which was famous, famous for being famous, which is if you tell people you're famous, 
you're famous. In fact, you know, we, we've heard these sayings, you know, fake it till you make it, power perceived, blah, blah, blah. But it's true. I mean, they've done wonderful little mini documentaries where if you just rent a limo mm -hmm. and some fake security guards and some fake crowd and you pull up somewhere and you have like fake, get a fake photographer out there, take pictures, people will, will draw. It's like, oh, this person's somebody. This yep. person's somebody. Well, the thing is, everyone picked up on that trick and then it went digital. And that's when the whole thing just sort of fell apart which is people all of a sudden, and I have talked to, I mean, I've talked to so many kids, which I, I've asked them, I say, so PewDiePie, right? You know, right, I, listen, you, you took know it. This. Boom. No, 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 you, you, you keep going, but yeah, you yeah. took Pew it out of my head. And, I, and, I, and, and I've talked to kids, it's like, oh yeah, he's totally legit, absolutely yeah. legit. I'm going, why? Yeah. Dude, he's got what, like 60 million followers. What's the validation? Yeah, I go, I go and... I go, what, let's see, what changed, what changed was, and I'm going to blame, the, you know, I'm going to blame this back on, I'm going to go back a little bit. Um, I'm going to blame this on Warcraft. World of uh, Warcraft. Fair. Yeah, fair Here, statement. Here's why. Back, we, we've, we have changed the gaming world to where it is called, the, in fact, there's a new model out there called pay to win. Yep. Which is, you know, and once third party countries got involved it's like you don't have to farm gold we'll farm it for you just get out your credit card right yeah. and and all of a sudden you could buy the gear and in the game you you were the shit and it's like wow, that's really really great right v bucks it, it's oh, everywhere. yeah in, in game currency yeah. remember this term because yeah. it applies to everything it, in game currency in whatever game you play it's currency to use in the game that cannot be taken anywhere else, including this world. <laughs> the pharaohs pay have tried. Play. They yeah. can't do pay it. Pay to win. Pay to play. Pay to yep. win. Well, pay to win is a whole nother thing. Pay to win, well, which was developed by Zynga. Remember, I came from the gaming world. Yeah. Developed, developed by Zing, Zynga, where they developed this stupid little game for inside Facebook called Farmville. Man, did they not know anything? They just lucked out where it's like, hey, just to make it easier for the middle aged housewives out there, we'll give them little micro transactions where it's like, oh, yeah, you want to get to that next level here? 99, 99 cents. They did not realize that they would always click on 99 cents. Yeah. And the next thing you know, they've got $300, $400 bills every month to this freaking game. They were just rolling in the cash. And it was this game, it was a tiny little screen. You know, yeah. inside of Facebook. Anyway, the, the point was in-game currency. Well, all right. Why that applies now is that in-game currency can be used for anything. What's the difference between game gold and thumbs up or likes or subs? Absolutely nothing. It is just numbers on a freaking screen. And once the kids figured this out, it took two seconds, which was, it's like, oh, dude, he's got 10,000 subs. He's totally legit. Somebody, you know, gets in their head. And the next thing is, no, it's like, oh, look, there's a Chinese site that sells subs. <laughs> and, and they start buying it. Next thing you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, dude, I'm totally legit. And they got and, black market V-Bucks, yo. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. And, and. You thought it's like, oh, okay, well, only the kids are doing it, right? Only the the, the hangers on, the, the the fringe people. Oh no, big celebs would do it too because it was a status thing. It's like, it's like you know, I'm I'm X, you know, B list or A list celebrity. It's like I, I got five million subs. Yeah, but that guy over there, has got nine. It's like the hell he does. <laughs> click 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 yeah, click 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 click. And, hammer hammer hammer. To where there was this point where, and I'll end on this. I don't want to draw this out. Mm. Which is. PewDiePie was in a race with some guy named T something, T10, T whatever it was, when they both had about 60 million subs, right? And it was a race to 100 million subs. And they both achieved it within, I don't know, six months, maybe not, maybe even less. The, the, the internet does not have much of an attention span. Right. And no one was questioning the facts like, where did the extra 40 million subs come from? Right. It's like it's 40 million people. Yeah unique users where to come yeah. from it's like i don't know yeah. but those numbers you know they're real yeah. and and again the kids do not they cannot differentiate between between the the real and you know the not real yeah. you know shat the shadow things sorry last yeah. part which is the, the the part in the movie the documentary fake famous which caught me was when he was talking about instagram which i am not on right 
-hmm. And he goes, there are millions of people with at least a hundred thousand subs on Instagram millions. And, and the thing is, if you know anything about celebrity and and status, like, look, there's 10,000 a and B listers in the world total. That's it. That includes music and acting and athletics, 10,000 people. And most people could barely, if you want to write down 10,000 people, you know, famous yeah. people, most people wouldn't even make it to 500, right? right. 10,000 people. So how are there a million, millions and millions of people? It's like, cause they're all fake. It's absolutely fake. And that's all they care about. Everyone just keeps pumping up the numbers and throwing, throwing money into the, the ether yeah. and then buying all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, just drove me nuts. Anyway. Why do I mention this? Because of Logan Paul, circle back. The reason Logan Paul got into the conference, the reason why they gave him a mic and put him on stage was because at the time he had 6 million subs. Robbie Davidson just looked at the sub count. It's like, oh, he's totally famous. We need to get him in here. And he advertised it as such. Oh, famous guy coming in. We, he needs to be, aver- you know, we, we need to And he got the fight there. fans too. The what? He got the fight fans. Right, his fight following is ridiculous. Oh yeah, well, he, he and his brother have single-handedly. Let's go off on another tangent real quick. Have single-handedly destroyed what's left of boxing, destroyed it. Well, okay, Bo- but I mean, at this point, hold on, and let's just be be um, transparent about transparency. Yeah, um, I'm not going to shoot this conversation in the foot by talking about what I wanted to talk about because at this point in time, we are on such an organic. <laughs> role that i would i would truly i truly i'm enjoying this because at the end of the day this chat is about ego right Right. validation of ego through numbers right right? it's like what pot do i want to fill that's what it boils down to right right? the aspect of cross marketing flat earth yeah and the fight scene yeah is what you witnessed go ahead yeah Oh yeah, and and I, by the way, I I'm not going to leave Joe Rogan out of this because Joe <laughs> Joe Rogan. So sorry, the the Paul brothers. We'll go back to Joe Rogan in a second. Yeah. The Paul brothers. All they did was they figured out. Again, this is not a new story in the world of sports, right? You know, boxing ma- matches have been fixed since boxing matches existed. That's the whole point. You know, mm-hmm. it, there's so much things happening. So it's like you know, take a dive. Which means mm-hmm. you know you get a glancing blow, and it's like, oh my god! Oh, he's going down! He's going he down. goes down I in mean, the eighth round. But fights, what reason why fights are fixed is because you have a heavy odds-on favorite. Whoever bets on the other guy, <laughs> usually crime people, you yeah. know, they're going to make a lot of money. It's because all right. the suckers are, and, and everyone's stunned. It's like, wow! I never expected. They're like, yeah, it's why yeah. they did it. And so the Paul brothers decided. Let's not even do real boxing matches. Let's just get ex-athlete people and we'll pay them to lose or yeah. draw. Yeah. That's it. And, and it's not a small payday. You yeah. know, some of these guys, they look for guys that want the money, that need the money. It's like, yeah. hey, how would you like $150,000, $500,000 to throw a fight? Yeah. It Let won't me count take against your, your once used name and yeah. translate it into now so I can make bank. Yeah. And so Jake Paul's like, I'm undefeated. I'm undefeated. It's like, yeah, but you paid them all to lose. It doesn't yeah. count. Yeah. It's, it's, you might as well be a dictator in, a, in another country <laughs> where, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, the, the old adage is like, if you ever go to a company function, never, ever beat the president in anything. It was, Bro, that was the wonderful. It's the uh, quickest way to sign your pink slip. Yeah. There was a, there was a wonderful movie that touched on it, Mr. Mom back in the day with Michael Keaton, where he was, it was, uh, it was, I, this is the sack race or something like that, where he yeah. was going to beat the president yeah. and everyone's like trying to, you know, wave him yeah. off. It's like, don't yeah. do it. Yeah. You know, everything's in slow motion. It's like, don't yeah. beat him. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, but Joe, anyway, sorry. So Joe Rogan, um, who uh, he's, he can't be left off, left off the hook because, and I, and I mentioned him on several things where, he was one of the best truth advocates I'd ever seen, ever. And because he, he had conviction. A lot of people don't know that in the debate world, all things being equal, right? You whoever's got the most conviction wins because you sound like you want it more. You're hungrier for it. It's like, well, this guy obviously is more passionate. Therefore, right. he wins the debate. And Lost he, your face. The what? Oh, crap. Lost your oh, face. Oh, that's what you were pointing at. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um. So what happened was, I have no idea. I wonder if it's this new lighting. I've got these weird Edison lights that give sort of a better, 
Well, anyway, doesn't matter. Just, just remember to keep doing it. Um, so Joe Rogan, you know, he goes against NASA, goes against NASA, and then he drops out of the internet world right. for an entire year, basically. Right. Doesn't do anything. And when he comes back, the Sci-Fi Channel had given him a brand new show called Joe Rogan Questions Everything, one-year mm. contract. And in the very first episode, he apologized for everything bad he ever said about NASA. Right. And Weird. then that show, you know, they'll give you, they'll give you some perks. They'll give you stuff. Hey, mm-hmm. free show. Sure. Why not? But you've got to have the ratings. He didn't get the ratings. So it's right. like, yeah, we're not going to carry you. But then he got into podcasting. It's like, oh yeah, because of the social media thing, we'll just pump that up and just tell people it's the greatest podcast in the world. Right. And that's what they did. And that, that was it. And, and, you know, now he's got the most popular and don't get me wrong. Joe Rogan's fine as an entertainer. You know, he's done some comedian work and he's done some television work, very little movie work. And then he got into the, with the man show and then he transitioned over to, to UFC commentating. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah, he's got this weird crowd where he can go into any fight crowd and he's totally legitimized. You know, where it's, it, I get it. You know, even though he never, I don't think he did a lot of fighting on his own. You know, he's a little guy and, and he's older. He's my age. So, but yeah, he, I felt, I felt bad for him because he was one of those people that you could tell really liked the whole flat earth concept because it generates so much discussion. But because right. he got in, because he sold out too early, he could right. never be on our side. He could never be fully engaged. All he could do is make fun of his friend, Eddie Bravo. That's all. That's <laughs> Poor all. Eddie. Yeah, you got Poor Eddie. A lot. So, and, and that's ultimately when, when you start to approach things from that standpoint, right? And again, this is, this is all I do on my show. This is yeah. all that we do is try to present things that create thought, right? right? Like I took in your, your piece on the spacesuit, right? And going in the swimming pool. Water is trying to get in, right. yet you go to space, water is trying to get out because yeah. we're apparently in a vacuum, apparently, right? So it when you start to look at things from that aspect, the eye of discernment and asking questions, well, if I'm looking at a fight that got thrown or I'm looking at the WWE, which is, well, entertainment or guys fighting, I'm not sure, or I'm looking at whatever it is in this world, right? Where is that point where I can start to see, well, this is the truth versus this is, is false. And I'm going to be, believe, you know, the narrative that's being, again, the plot that is being presented. And again, even if it comes down to questioning the very ground that we stand on. Yes. Yes. And there are, there's illusion. Oh, there's so many quotes I could give you. Um, the first one is, Mark Twain, which is, he said, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. That's the first thing he said. The second one, which really dovetails nicely into it, and I don't remember who said it, uh, but it's as old as time, which is first rule of show, of show business, give the people what they want. Mm-hmm. And, they, you know, that, and that translates to everything. People think, everything. People think that the, you know, the WWE is the only true fake sport that's out there. And it is fake to the point where, yeah, they know who's going to win and lose. And, right. you know, they just don't know every It's movie. written. Yeah, so, it's, it's right, absolutely We can say scripted. that it's written. It's absolutely scripted. Uh, watch the, um, the Wrestler uh, with Mickey Rourke from years ago, uh, where he did such a great job. So I mean, good. It was yeah. so good. But it was also very true in that, I mean, I felt bad for the wrestlers because they just punished themselves. Interviews with Jake the Snake. Yeah. About Andre the Giant. Yeah. That's, you can go anywhere and find that. Yeah. And that's raw as it raw gets. Yeah. Beer cans in the back of the van crushing them. Oh, he yeah. can't he can't poop on a regular toilet. Dude's got to poop in a bathtub. Like, bro. Yeah. I felt bad for Andre in oh that my regard. Hard all day. Yeah. The um, but it doesn't it doesn't just stop there. It's everything on, I mean, all professional sports have a weakness to a certain degree. It just depends what can be hidden in the chaos. Right. Um, like what I like to tell people is. Uh, there was a movie called uh, Any Given Sunday, directed yep. by uh, Alder So Stone. good, yeah. And so there was good. This, and it was the well, the the scene that was lost in the movie when Al Pacino was at the bar, you know, playing the coach. Yep. And he goes, "The day that yep, there's my face." The, uh, God, that's your best one yet. Oh well, well that was like a two tone. I think the camera's getting better, man. 
Oh, this one's got your pupils. Oh, here we go. You're just your okay. Eyes. Well, tell me, tell me to to keep it or leave it when when it happens next. A fair statement. So, okay. yeah, if it's if it's good, it's like yeah, just tell me. I'll like, give oh, you a thumbs up. Pick. If I go yeah. like this, that means you're then change black. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what dimension <laughs> I keep shifting into, but we'll just go with it. So he said, <laughs> "It's like where am we I? We need timestamps. <laughs> if I, I go yeah, back if I come back and said. I ask you what year it is, yeah, get worried." <laughs> It's like, oh my god this year it ends in a six two plus two plus two i just had a drink with evil spock <laughs> the um so They're anyway so al pacino data. al pacino said the day football changed was when they created the tv timeout Ooh, and, and what he meant by that was that's when money became more important more than important. the sport yep. It, yeah. It's like you don't understand. It's like they, it's like oh, we're gonna go to commercial. There's commercial no, it spots. used to be they had to wait for timeouts. Yeah, right. They had to wait for something to happen, an injury, on the and field. then they could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. but now they have to go whenever whenever they go. But a lot. But it goes further than that, which is they can call the refs basically in football can can change the pace of the game. They can call holding any given day they want. You right. know, any every play they can call holding because the linemen they have to look that when it comes to professional sports people will lie cheat steal and kill practically yeah. to, to win to win stuff to get paid man to, to get paid yeah. and that's and so they can call holding any time they want in football mm. and that can change the momentum of a game and two seconds all you have to do like two or three yeah. holding calls in a row and that's yeah. it they don't have to worry about offsides or pass interference or that crap yeah. they can call holding anytime yeah. because there's so much happening in the middle of that line Nobody knows. You watch, you know, watch a game and watch that happen, and see if the camera people, the producers, zoom in to see if they can catch the holding call. Right. A lot of the time they can't, and the, the yeah. commentator's like, "Well, I don't really agree with that." But listen, you're talking to a basketball fan. Oh, basketball! Right. Oh, Playoffs are on out. right now. Just watch the Sixers go down to the Heat. Right. Yeah. It's we we see it. Yeah, we get I it. I stopped it's, watching it's everywhere the NBA after Jordan's second tour. I call it the tour because <laughs> that's really what it was, right? And again, yeah. this goes with give the people what they want. What this they will, want. This, we will circle back to why this applies to everything. Yeah, that's the no um, problem, man. Which is give the people what they want. Everyone wanted Jordan to win because he was a great entertainer. Wasn't the greatest basketball per, per, uh, player in the world. That was Wilt Chamberlain. Look up the stats. That man was freaking Goliath and he destroyed people. And the, the difference is people cheered when Michael Jordan walked into the arena, right? They right. cheered because they wanted to see him do amazing. They wanted him to yeah. fly through the air. When Wilt Chamberlain walks in the arena, they booed him mm. because you couldn't stop him. Yeah. You could double team him, you can triple team him. I mean, you gotta remember that that 62 season, he's averaged 50 points a game. Every game. That means some days he was getting 70, some days he was getting 30, but he was gonna get him. And right. he could not stop. And in fact, one night again, I think it was in New York, they just let him go and said, you know what? Just go for it. And he scored well, 100 points just to, just to see if he could do it. And he yeah. did. So the point was, is that Jordan wasn't winning championships. And it's an innocent conversation. You know, if you know the NBA, imagine this conversation, right? A shoe company goes to the NBA and they say, look, we might be able to work something out here. We have a contract with this particular basketball player. It doesn't have to be Jordan, but in this case, it was Jordan. It's mm -hmm. like, we will sell more shoes if we can get him to the playoffs. And then they realize the deeper he goes into playoffs, the more shoes they sell. And finally, it's like, you know, if he wins a championship, we can sell a lot of goddamn shoes. Okay, well, let's park. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. And now I need to interject because you've raised an absolutely amazing point. Yeah. COVID. How much money was lost during COVID? Right. We probably right? can't say that word, by the way. If you're going to post this. Yeah. Dang but, it. But the vi called the virus. It's all right. The C word. Yeah. Okay. And now we enter into playoffs in 2022. Right. And how many sweeps have we seen? There you go. Four O's, right? Versus yeah. games going to 2 0. And then all of a sudden the other team comes up and it's 2 all. And then it's three. It, yeah. Which each, used to be the norm. You know, tiebreakers always, always went to freaking seven right? or five or whatever it was. Oh, yeah, yep. always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the and generation that, of cash, That applied right? to everything. And the point was, it's an innocent. Here's, here's what I'm getting at is it sounds horrible, right? You know, that a shoe company would pay the NBA a stipend to let. But remember, give the people what they want. The people wanted to see Jordan win championships. So who's losing, right? 
shoe company makes money, the NBA makes money, and ratings. Everybody makes money. The only person that cheated is the actual legitimate best team in the world. Right. Because it's like, look, it's like you may be the best team in the world, but if you're boring, you're not getting ratings. Right. And it's and it's a horrible thing to say, but it's yeah. true. Give the people what they freaking want. So when sure. Jordan retires, he gets that, tr- you know, the first three champions is like, yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good night, everybody. And he leaves yeah. and then they drag him back. And, you know, and but you don't for people don't remember that the, at that first season after he left, the entire NBA's ratings dropped 30 yeah. percent. That's huge to where the yeah. NBA is like crawling to him going, look, we got to get you back. And he's like, it was 98, got, right? hey, look, I already got my rings. What the hell do I care? It's like, no, no, no. This time around, no one's going to be able to touch you. And that's why, and you can look it up. There's a wonderful documentary and people that have talked about called Jordan Rules for the yeah. second term, which was if he went into the paint, you just cleared out. Yeah. Because if you were even next to him, you yeah. were going to get called for the foul. And then he was going to you know, get the free throw on top of it. Yeah. So no one even bothered. And, and, right. and it was just that unsaid thing. So right. circle back. Why does this matter? Carrie Fisher said this, and I love this so much. She was asked when reality television started, when reality television started uh, getting, you know, ramping up, right? Good Lord. I'm going to have to move these things closer. Okay. Uh, when reality television started firing up, people, the, the A-listers and the, the legitimate actors we're, we're getting pushed to the side because there was so much content on television and, and people were asking, they asked Carrie Fisher's like, what do you think about, you know, reality television, you know, edging into uh, real acting, you know, to, to real tell, you know, to real things. And she laughed, you know, Carrie Fisher's been in you know, her whole life, you know, Carrie, Carrie Fisher grew up in a show business family. Yeah. And she goes, she was, she was, she was, please. She goes, she goes, if it's on television, it's not real. And what she was hinting at was nothing on television is real. Reality television is not real. It's only real in the fact that you don't recognize the actors. You know, that they're just low, low, low budget. Even documentaries. There's a lot of documentaries that aren't real, which was, and I am fond of saying this, when I went out and shot a thing with National Geographic, right? National Geographic, the pinnacle of integrity, right? Yeah. I met the on-air host right? You know, the, the on-air host, you know, it's like when we shook hands and did that, I met her for the first time six times. Meaning it's like, oh, hey, we're going to find Mark Sargent in the crowd. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, hey. And cut. All right. We're going to do it from this angle. Now. Right, this and, angle. And we, we shot this six this angle. times and we did multiple takes for all sorts of crap. And our community is just sitting there going, un, unfreaking real. You know, why, yeah. why would you do this? Just got the warning the what the warning we're at uh 10 minutes to go okay okay sorry sorry sorry. Yours. so so but but why this is important is that when we went to the, out to the salton sea to shoot our footage that you you have field producers and then you have the producers in the studio and the field producers were all they do is collect info and they, they send it off to new york or whatever studio and then those people decide what leaves in there and we right. shot all this stuff where we were shooting long distance over the the lake at nine miles and we could absolutely see the other shore with our cameras at nine miles right. but the whole point of the experiment was you you couldn't even you weren't even not forget about the shore you were spl- not even supposed to see the balloons as they raise them to a certain height and, right. and but the thing was they couldn't find the balloons right. because all, it was blend it would, they couldn't figure out where it was and it's like and it's like well technically you shouldn't even be able to see the balloons if the earth is a curvature, but here they are on our camera. Look, and we, sh- and the reason why we live streamed for like five hours that morning, just because we knew full well that they were going to, what they were going to do. And sure enough, when the final product came out, that whole thing with the balloons never happened, never, ever happened. It did not exist. And, wow. and again, what you show the public, they, they don't know that the power of editing is a yeah. very, very uh, strong thing. One, yeah. one, more, one more thing in that vein, which is uh, the Amazing Race contacted us to be part of their inter- their YouTube-only show. Okay. Right? This goes into the illusion. This ties back to the fake famous thing. 
and they said they asked me it called me and said hey can you get some people i go yeah yeah I can get some people i got some people you want to do a freaking game show because that's really what it is the amazing race mm. has nothing to do with athletics at all right? there's right. no racing it's like people don't understand it's like you know if they're running everywhere all these places like when you're interviewing them when they're on camera why aren't they ever out of breath ever right. it's because right. like, okay, we want to run from here to here okay take a breather for like 15 minutes and we'll pick up shoot makeup yeah makeup yeah <laughs> and what they said was can you be off the internet for a month and i said why 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 and and they said oh because when we shoot this we shoot it all at once and we have a complete internet blackout and we make you sign a non-disclosure and and I said, so let me get this straight. You're going to try to do an internet only cast, high profile internet people, and you're going to put them on television and you're going to ask them to not be on the internet at, up for a month. And they go, and I go, what, what sort of restrictions are we talking about? It's like, oh no, you can't even have email. You can't be anything. We're going to lock you. You don't exist. You don't exist. And I'm going, I'm going, okay, you know, I'm older, so I could do this. Right. I could do this, but you're going to ask, I don't know, Shane Dawson and the Paul brothers and PewDiePie. You're going to ask them to not be on the internet. I go, they, if they're off the internet for two or three days, people start yeah. freaking out. That is their, that is their life. Right? There might be mass suicides. Yeah. And, and, and I go, you're never going to, it's never going to happen. You can't put these people in it. I mean, they're glued to their phones. You're, you're right. taking away their smartphones. They're going to run down to a burner phone store and they're, you know, people will be, and they're going to, and they're going to pod, they're going to stream that. Yeah. So, and, and I, I get I my said, life back. And plus I said one more thing. I said, um, I said, okay, here's my, here was my plan. I, you know, if you ever watch the amazing race, you know, there's all these teams and then teams get knocked off, knocked off every week until finally there's only three teams left at the end, you know, gold, silver, and bronze, right? right? Gold gets a million dollars. Wow. Silver gets $50,000. Third gets nothing, but at least they're still up there on the podium. And I go, you know what? Make us the bronze. Make flat earth the bronze. I go, I go, I go, that's your story. I go, that's everyone flat. hates flat earth. Number no three. one's going to want them win. They're going to be the villain yeah. It make them go all the way to the end. And then they lose, you know, they fall short and they pick Perfect. up nothing, but they're still there on the podium. I go, I go write that script. Uh, yeah, that, that is the script. And I, I yeah. go, I go, t I go, you do this and you'll have something. I go, I go, I will not endorse anything if you just try to knock us off in the first couple rounds, you know, nobody even knows. And like the first couple of weeks, because by the yeah. way, if you're knocked off in the first couple of weeks, you still have to stay in the freaking hotel. Of whatever city you're, you're in, the in. quarantine. Yeah. And yeah, you're basically, well, I mean, you can, you can walk out of the hotel and walk around the beach, but you can't be on the internet. You still have to stay in that city for a month wow. because they bring you back to the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's right. And they said, well, watch season 31 and let us know what you think. And I go, and, and that's why I give them the, the thing. And, and then I went back and watched season one, episode one, and I could see all the clever editing, you know, there were things were missed. Right. Go, Look, I go, I go, the reason why I'm putting this script to you, I go, I'm not trying to be insulting, but come on. I know what's up. I go, you're about as real as, as world wrestling is real. Right. <laughs> and they took some offense to that. <laughs> So, but, and I don't know if it was the, like the younger producers that actually bought into it, but they don't, they, they don't realize that when you, like when you interview for that, they, they, they cast out the entire thing ahead of time. It's scripted no different than WWE. They know yeah. exactly who's going to be first, second, and third. That's right. the whole point. We want these people to win. You know, here's the beautiful people. Here's the plucky comic relief. Here's the inspirational older, but blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway. So. Right, the four so anyway, mark. we didn't do it. Oh, that whole season completely collapsed because none of the internet people could go off the internet for a month. Yeah, they, they like wouldn't cutting off their hair. They can't even the ones that said they would said they wouldn't do it for free. They said, "Yeah, we'll we take you off the internet for a month." It's like, okay, how much you know? So it's gonna, how yeah, much it's going to cost you? Four minutes. Oh, okay, sorry. No, no worries, Mark. Um, and it was amazing part two interview I, I, <laughs> just in terms of you know again an organic conversation um our uh, our conversation point of uh the plane we'll uh, we'll have to revisit that yeah we in, can we can at revisit some point it. um but i really appreciate and honestly I, I i took in what you had to say at the beginning and the fact that two in a row i didn't realize that so i, I oh no 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 it's okay um, i mean i i will do but i will do um uh I'll, I'll i'll put it in between one of the others okay 
Do you have any issues with me uploading today? No, or would you like no, me to wait? no, not okay, at all. You can do sure. whatever you want. I'm I just saying this for me, just because I like, I, I like, because otherwise it confuses people. Because like, 100%. is it part one, part two? Is it a what? Or is it a re-upload? So no, I'll usually, and then there'll be a number on it. Usually. No worries, man. No. Um, yeah. So packing this up um, again, Mark, you've been an absolute blessing um, just to be able to again walk the flat Earth plane digitally with you right to edify you and your work and what you've done and what you've brought to the scene um and yeah in our next chat hopefully part three we'll get to uh the aspect of how planes actually are able to exert force oh, yeah. to get off this plane as they fly over the plane right and maintain that flight over the plane and land on the plane Ooh, but I like what you did apparently there. it's a spinning marble so we'll see okay my dude thank you so much for your time as always thank we'll you. talk man all right man see ya take care mark all right be well buddy